Hey, what's up? Derek from nerdodie.com here, and I am really excited to bring you a look at the browser transition plugin for OBS Studio. This plugin is going to open up a world of possibilities for your transitions, things like randomized uh, transitions, bringing in data, making it just much easier to customize, uh, all sorts of things. We're just scratching the surface with these. And just a quick note, make sure to subscribe because we are going to be releasing a lot of free transitions for this. We're kind of just getting started with them. Uh, we have some really cool ones planned that I don't think you guys want to miss. So anyways, let's check out how to install the plugin very quickly. And then I can show you how to set up a full transition and get one for free. So the first thing that you really need to do is just head on over to obsproject.com. We'll of course leave the link in the description below. And then you just need to download it. And I've actually downloaded it a little bit ago, but um, basically what you need to do is just grab the one for your operating system. So for me, I'm using Windows. I'm going to choose the Windows installer. And then inside of this uh, download folder, uh, I'm going to go ahead and extract it. And then once that's extracted, I just need to double click this and hit like two buttons to get it installed. And then it's going to say um, automatically close the applications uh, if it's open. So you do want to close OBS um, if you're, uh, you know, of course, having it open while you're doing the install process. I'm going to cancel out. Basically, you just need to hit next and get it done. So. Now that I already have it installed and you should now too, I'm going to open up my OBS here and I have uh, two scenes set up where it's just two different colors so we can kind of see the difference here. Now to actually add the transition, we need to go to the scene transition section and then hit the plus here and then hit browser and then we can name it whatever we want for this transition. And then we have a couple of options. So we have the duration of the transition. Uh, if we want to use a track mat, which uh, I don't have an example of that yet. It is something we're working on, some kind of dynamic track mat ones um, for the uh, browser plugin here. And then the most important option um, other than the duration is definitely the transition point. Um, so this is basically uh, where it's going to change the scene. So when everything's kind of hidden for you, you want to kind of hit that spot. So right now it's set by default to 50 percent. Um, personally, I like to use time to kind of dial it in exactly where I want it. And the time is defaulted to milliseconds, where 1000 milliseconds is a full second. Um, you can play around with the audio fade style if you have, you know, different audio levels and stuff like that set up. And then, of course, you have the browser here uh, section that lets you pick a local file or actually even put in a cloud hosted file. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take local file here and eventually what we need to do is just pick an HTML file to load into this. Uh, I don't have any of those available yet. So what I'm going to do is head over to the maker from Nerd or Die, uh, which we are, like I said, adding a bunch of free options for it. Um, you can go to the transition section and pick out one that you like. Um, so let's check out this fan transition one. This one's kind of cool. I've already customized some of the colors. But basically what you do over here on the left, you just kind of um, go through the options, uh, change the duration, change your colors that you want. You can add a logo to it or just disable the logo. And then once you're done, you're just going to download a zip file. And the zip file is just going to be really easy to uh, extract and then get set up. But something I want to mention about the zip file is you definitely want to move this whole folder to somewhere where you kind of want it permanently. I'm actually going to leave it where it is now, uh, but of course, just put it somewhere where if you, uh, you know, you just don't want to move it because if you do, it's going to mess things up in OBS. So anyways, let's go back to OBS and then in the local file, I'm going to hit browse and then in browse, I'm going to pick the HTML file uh, for the fan transition. So we're just going to load that in and then hit OK. Now, when I change this, you're going to see a couple of things. It, it basically didn't work. <laughs> properly. Um, that's because I didn't properly set the transition point time and the duration. So the nice thing about the maker here is that you can actually see down here how long uh, the transition needs to run. And then you can also see a transition point uh, where the screen will be fully covered. So right around one second, I see that this is fully covered. And then we need it to run for at least, uh, you know, two, uh, probably about three seconds just to be safe. Longer is better, but I'll show you just a little um, caveat there. Um, so what I'm going to do is go back into the browser properties here, and then I'm going to change this to three seconds. And then the transition point time, I'm going to set 
to one second. And then I'm gonna hit okay. And then I'm gonna change the scene. And now you should see it kind of working as intended. So what, the one thing I wanna mention is if you're having any problems and you're going back and forth and just like switching scenes very quickly. So you can see here where I'm just going too quickly. It might cause issues because you're basically running multiple transitions on top of each other. We've had some people kind of get confused on that. So I just wanted to point it out. But in general, this is all you really need to do. Uh, so you're pretty much good to go. Uh, you can go back in here and you can tweak the settings as needed. Um, you can make sure in OBS you have the right um, FPS setup and all that sort of thing. Um, you can even do the preview transition, which is a really nice feature. So really quick before I forget, I just want to say a huge thanks to Exceldra who developed this plugin. He makes some of the best plugins for OBS um, Studio. And we're very thankful that he was able to get this up and running um, and get this done. And in the future, like I said, we have some really cool stuff coming out. Um, there's an update for OBS Studio that is actually going to enhance features for these um, transitions. And as soon as that is out, you will see a video from us kind of talking about what those are. So anyways, thanks for sticking around. Again, make sure to like and subscribe and we'll see you next time. Later.